My people came across an ocean to live in the mountains of this new world. They brought with them all their hopes of a new life and a new beginning. But we were also a people with dark secrets we attempted to cover with an old ritual. Yet secrets always reveal themselves in the light of truth. And that spring of my tenth year, the whole truth was finally told. Pa says I take off to you, Granny. But you do, Cardi. You also have your Grandpa Ewan's blue eyes and his soul hunger. Give your mama time, Cardi. Mm. Oh, Granny, what's wrong? Oh, oh, just nothing, love. If I could wish one thing right now, you know what it'd be? To go back in time. Oh, that'd be nice too, wouldn't it? What I'm aching for is some color and beauty. I'll be right back. Mm. Goddy girl. I love you, my dear. I love you too, Granny. told me just days ago. She heard the mighty voice from the mountain calling. But she wanted to tarry a while. For God's sake. Go on with your Cardi. Yes, yes, ma'am.
Your mom sent you out. Yes, sir. Gather up the cedar chips and take them back to the house. I'll cut down on the stench of death.
that you not wander forever over fields or mountains, or along pathways. And for thy earthly sins, dear woman, I pawn my own soul. As I listened to that sad, wretched man, I wondered why he would take on the sins of people who refused to look him in the eye. And I wondered how long it would be before he came to eat my sins away. Would I have to live to be Granny's age, to be free of all the evil I had done? By the time I turned around, he was gone, and with him went my hope of ever being forgiven. You forget about him, Cardi Forbes. He's done his purpose and now he's gone. Get on home now. Caddy, go out and get some garden chairs for your mama. Yes, Papa. When are you going to let this go and start being a mama again for you? Please, Uncle, leave me be. I can't take your questions right now. Gorwin's passing. This has nothing to do with my mother passing, and you know it. That child is as heart sick as you about what happened to Ellen, and she... She needs you. It hurts too much. <laughs> How long are you going to make us suffer? It shouldn't have been my little Ellen. It shouldn't have been my baby girl. Are you saying you wish it was Caddy who died? <laughs> That's it, isn't it? It's what you're saying. You wish it was Caddy who died.
We shouldn't be here, Caddy. You've been warned to keep away. There's a better place to cross the Narrows. I know that is. Who are you? My name's Lilibet. How do you know me? Everybody where I come from has heard about what you did. Everybody knows? Everybody knows something, Katrina Nice. The two knows everything. Follow me. Another way. To where? Find the one who can take your sins away. Sunita? Where do you live? Oh, it's a long way from here, but not too far. You're a very strange girl. That spot's no good, Cal. You should try that spot right there. Would you shut up? You'll spook my fish. You can spear a cow anyway. Woo! Caddy Forbes, you're lucky I don't have a gun. I might have shot you for an Indian. Leave her be, Carl. A granny just died. She hollered out just when I was about to spear me a fish. A big fish. Didn't mean to spook you, Carl. Lilybet and me was just... Who's Lilybet? That little girl over there. Well, she was there. She must be shy. I heard shame and rats in the head, sister. It's not a fast call. What are you doing on Kailand, anyhow? Wasn't paying attention to where we were going. Just following the river down from the Narrows. Does your mama know you're at the Narrows? That ain't your business, is it? You hungry? You must have been going somewhere. I am. Sort of. You mean besides scaring my fish away? I was... trying to find the Sunita. The Sunita? He's a monster. He's a devil with fire-red eyes. And long fangs, like a wolf. He's a man who sold himself to the devil. He smells death. He spends his whole life hoping people will die so he can feast on their sins. Aye, and Ma says, if he so much as looks at you with his evil eye, you're dead. That's not true. How would you know? Well, I ain't dead, am I? You looked at him, didn't you? At your granny's funeral. I couldn't help myself. His voice sounded so sad and lonely. Now you're in for it. Pray hard. Pray real hard. Evil doesn't get a hold of you. You best get on back home now. Come on, Glenny. I wonder where he does live. Only time he comes is when somebody rings the passing bell. Well, if anyone would know, it'd have to be someone who's older than the trees. Where did you disappear to? 
Fagin in there. Fagin is very handsome. Mama, I want you to meet someone. I meet a new friend. Her name's Lilibet. Not, not now, Cardi. That's all right, Katrina and niece. Maybe another time. I get right. Mama's busy with her loom. Another time. Zelda, I was wondering who you'll be wanting to come to your funeral. Land sakes, child. What a question to ask an old lady. I ain't in the ground yet. No, ma'am. But it'll be too late to ask once you're there. Well, that's quite a good point. <laughs> and the senator? Will you want him to come, Miss Zelda? Oh, indeed. I'll be in sore need of him. I've got me a basket full of sins to unload. And how will find him for you? Oh, you won't need to find him. The passing bell echoes right clear in these mountains. He'd hear it. But why all these questions about the sin eater? I, I... I need his help. Turn around, Caddy. He can't do a thing for you, child. What's done at that tree bridge is done. And you have to live your life with what happened. And try and do good from now on. And you'll only have the one black mark at the end. Besides, he ain't coming for you till you breathed your last. Then I wish I was dead. That we'd be over. Be careful what you wish for, Cotty. God might hear you and take you at your word. Took my husband with all his fool complaining. Now you better take that right back. No, ma'am. I can't live my whole life with what I've done. I need the city to, to eat my sins now. He is Miss Elda. Can't you tell me where he lives so I can talk to him? Oh, child. Hello. Like his daddy and his granddaddy, the guys ain't happy unless they're killing something. I brought you some fresh meat, ma'am. You been in a fight, young Kai? No, ma'am. Mighty thoughtful of you. But I don't know what's gotten into the young ones in this cold, bringing an old lady meat and flowers. Squiddle meat? Did you think you were going to get her to talk with Squiddle meat? Don't think I don't know why you're here, Carrie Fobbs. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. Do you think this is all a game, Caddy? I asked my pa about the senator, and he clean knocked me off the porch. He said if I ever asked about him again, he'd take the skin off my back. He said just mentioning the man brings evil into hearts. Let's not look at him like you did. So you looked at him, did you? 
Yes, ma'am. What were you thinking, child? I couldn't doubt myself, Miss Elda. It was the way he spoke to Granny. He was so sad. He spoke as though he loved her. And for good reason. After your granddaddy passed on, your granny would take an offering to his grave whenever she could. A bundle of carrots, half dozen ears of corn, some eggs, and she'd leave them there on his grave for the sin eater as a gift. No one in this cove ever treated him with such kindness. But your granny did. Oh, he'd come down off dead men's mountains. Mountain. That's not what I meant. It's time for you two to get along. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Miss Alda, if I can find the Sunita, I need to my sons away. Will Mama forget? No, child. She'll never forget. But maybe she'll be able to forgive. Was the sin eater the only reason you come back today, Cardi? Yes, ma'am. But it won't be next time. Take away my sins, Caddy Forbes. I hope you broke your foot. Oh. Would you stand fast already? It's your fault sneaking up on me. I, I didn't mean to scare you, Caddy. I, I crossed my heart and hoped to die. Be careful what you wish for. Are we going to Dead Man's Mountain or not? I wanted to talk to you first. What about? It's just, I ain't never seen my pa afraid of nothing, nothing. But he's most assuredly afraid of the sin eater. Well, I'm not afraid, because I know he never hurt me. Well, maybe he hurt you when you, when you looked at him. You just didn't know it. What are you saying? Well, for one, you can't get him out of your head. My ma says there's powerful dark spirits all over these mountains that need to be left alone. What spirit? Maybe that girl that you were talking about is not what she seems. Lily Beth ain't no spirit. She's my friend. Well, 
Look, I'm sorry your pa hit you on my account. But I'm going to go find the Sunita. With or without you. Wait. I'm going with you. You don't have to. Yes, I do. I need to protect you. There's probably a thousand hiding places up here. Uh, maybe I could, I could bring my old hound up here. We, we could flush him out. The silly to enter rabbits, Vagon. Vittles. What? What are you talking about? Remember what Ms. Elder said about Granny leaving gifts for the Sunita? Maybe it is like snare in a rabbit after all. I got to go. It's clean single my pa's looking for me. But there's still light left. I can't, Cuddy. Pa'll skin me if he catches me anywhere near here. You hurry and get home yourself, Cuddy Fobbs. and finish your chores.
Hear me when I call, O oh Lord. Hear my prayer, for it's unto thee and thee alone I pray. You are a God that hath no pleasure in wickedness. And there is wickedness in these mountains. The voice of the ah. Lord is upon the waters. The God of Where the were you? Why didn't you meet me at the cemetery? Because the Kai is getting sly of me missing all the time. Well, he came back. The senator came to Granny's grave and took the preserves I left him. Did you talk to him? Not exactly. I sort of fell asleep. But he took my gift. I know he did. Sure he did. Now hush up. I want to listen to the stranger. And the King of Glory shall come in. <laughs> Who is this King of Glory? The Lord! Mama? Why did you take this to Granny's graveyard? I... I... Didn't you think I would come looking for you, Caddy? You're always going places that you oughtn't. Now... You're a thief, besides... Stealing... From your own family. No, Mama, I... You never think before you do things! Why? See ya! <laughs> what have you done? There's a stranger camped at the bottom of the narrows. The Kai says he's going to deal with him. What's the harm in letting him stay? The Kai says he's crazy. Besides, there's no more land for him, no more room. Uh, it sounds like the Kai makes all the rules in this cove. Don't be speaking bad about him, Fia. Brogan and his family have always known what's right for this cove. We're not going to have anything to do with that stranger, right? Mama, I want you to have this. It's okay. Take it. What are you going to do with those preserves? Save them for the Sunita. Why not take them to that bee lady? Maybe she knows where he lives. Child. Let go of me! Senita! No. Oh. Please, wait! Senita! <sighs> Senita, wait! 
I ain't going back until you talk to me. Please, I need you. You talk to that woman, why won't you talk to me? Why did you dare look at me at your granny's funeral, Caddy Forbes? Because I need you to take my sins away. It's not done that way. Now go home and don't come looking for me again. If you don't take my sins away now, then I'll make it so you can do it the proper way. I can't go on living with this hurt inside me. I can't live knowing all the pain I've caused everyone. Sanita? Come back tomorrow. The woman you saw, Bletson McLeod, will show you the path up the mountain. Bring me what's necessary for the ceremony and we'll see what God allows. And whatever happens, you must promise me you will never come back to this mountain. I promise. I'm here, child. Climb no further. I, I brought the wine and the bread and, and the white covering. Miss Elder was kind enough to give it to me. Miss Elder ought to have known better. She, she wanted me to tell you something else. She wanted you to know that she hasn't forgotten your name. Please give her my thanks. Yes, sir. Now, lie down on the ground and cover yourself with the shroud. And keep your eyes shut tightly. Tell me what sin it is grieves you so. Did my granny tell you her sins before she passed? No. Then if it's all right with you, I'd rather not say my sins aloud. easement now to thee, Caddy Forbes, that you might live a long and full life, and for thy peace, I pawn my own soul. Nothing's changed. I feel the same. I'm sorry, dear child. Please, you have to tell me. How do I get rid of what I've done? I wish I knew, Caddy Forbes. I wish I knew.
if it be her caddy, you've been warned to keep away. Are you daft? Let go of me! Let go of me! Dear child, what in heaven's name could be so terrible as to make you want to do such a thing to yourself? Dear Lord, what secrets these mountains must possess. I saw you with that stranger. Going again me, are you? Going again your pa. I, I didn't... Liar. Vile, deceitful child. It's you who brought that outsider upon us. You and your sin. <coughs> you go out there again. It will be the end of you. I swear it on my own soul. And the same if you speak a word of this. Better one should die than all suffer. Kari. Kari. Kari, are you okay? Kari. Stranger, wasn't it? No, Dad. Shh. It's okay. Shh. You'll be fine. All right, I'll take you home now. I'll take you home. I swear on my own soul, better one should die than all suffer. Well, child, I hope you're feeling better than you did yesterday. I just came to warn you. There's a powerful fan of you in our cold. I know there is, lass. Powerful fear of the truth wherever it travels. Now, where's your young friend who enjoys hiding in the bushes with you? He was here eavesdropping on me again, evening last. I don't know. His pa's the one so hard set against you. That would be broken car, would it? Yes, sir. He paid me a visit when I first come. A man acquainted with anger. Those who despise the word of the Lord 
will not stand in the day of judgment, for the breath of the Lord will blow them away like chaff. Well, anyway, I just came to warn you. I got to be getting back. At least, do me the honor of knowing your name. Cardi. Cardi Forbes. Well, Miss Cardi Forbes. My earthly name is not important. All that matters is I am a humble servant of God, come to redeem these wicked mountains. Will you sit and hear the word of the Lord? I, I best not. It's not safe, Paul. It's not safe. It is the Lord who giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. And he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servant. And none who trust in him shall be desolate. None of this makes any sense to you, does it? No, sir. Why are you so heavy burdened, child? If you tell me what ails you, perhaps I can help. I don't think so. The sin eater can't cure me, then no one can. Sin eater? Now who might that be? He's the one chosen from among us, who lives all by himself on Dead Man's Mountain. After a person has passed, he takes our sins upon himself, so that they can rest in peace. And you believe this? Doesn't everybody? I went to him and asked to take my sins away. But he can't help me until I pass on. Child, what could you have done to merit such shame? Can I say? Nothing you could have done can make the Lord love you any more or any less. If I tell you, will you promise not to hate me? As the Lord has loved me, so will I love you. I killed my sister, Ellen, my baby sister. Now I'm doomed to live all my life knowing that she's not here because of me. Knowing that my mom's heart is broken and it's all my fault. Tell me how it happened, child. So Kirsty, from the very beginning, Tonight, you made me a rag doll and Ellen wanted it. Let go, it's mine! Let go, I was playing with it first! Then let go, you little brat! It's mine! Granny made it for me! Oh, Bobby! How dare you hit your little sister! You are being selfish and you know it. You don't deserve this doll. You always let her have everything she wants! I hate her! And I hate you! But it was too late. 
<laughs> there was nothing I could do. I went down below to look for her. I kept screaming her name, hoping she'd come up. But she never did. <laughs> oh, Kathy. There's some sorrow so deep. Only God can touch them. No mere man can take away your sins, child. You see, there's already been a sin eater. The original sin eater that the Lord God sent long, long ago to take away all of our sins once and for all. And this book, this book tells all about him. Will you tell the Sunita how sorry I am? Will you ask him to forgive me? You just did. Beautiful girl, you just did. And now your heart is washed clean of all the black marks this world has ever given it. All that you could ever give in. Yes. His name is Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> it doesn't hurt anymore, Lily Beth. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> I know, Katrina. I mean, well done. Over you. Dad, Miss Elsa, it's done. Oh, what's done, child? I'm forgiven. If this man of God is speaking the truth, we've all been believing a lie. Especially the Sanita. How was he chosen, Miss Elda? Oh, that was a long time ago. Twenty winters back, when your granddaddy Luck Island was in his final hours. But I can't tell it without speaking ill of the dead. I ain't blind to the deeds of my kin, Miss Elda. Well, I suppose the fear of God comes upon all men, even the cruelest. And Luck Island had more in his share of sins. He begged your father to get him a sin eater. So Brogan demanded that each man pass thirteen put his mark on a chicken bone. And they gathered the bones together in a mazer, and from the mazer, one bone was chosen. And it fell to the man who now lives on Dead Man's Mountain. I'll never forget the look on the face of the man chosen, nor the tears of his young lady. Was that Bledsoe MacLeod? Aye, lass. The new senator come and done his duty, and it's been that way ever since. Child, I'm afraid these old bones will never make it. Do you think this man of God will come to me? I'm in desperate need of forgiveness myself. Well, if it isn't my young disciple. Pardon us, sir, but my friend Fagin here no longer wants to listen from the bushes. Well, have you ever heard the name of Jesus Christ, son? Um, only when my pa hits his thumb with a hammer. <laughs> well, have a seat, because the truth will set you free, and we are going to start from the very beginning.
It's my father. She's got to run, sir. Fagan? You've got to hide. Fear no man, son. No. No. My father rules this core. He'll kill you. We cannot kill the truth, Fagan. No, no. Please. Please. Run. Hide. I walk in this valley of death. I fear no evil. Fagan? The Lord is with me. I will dwell in his house forever. Fagan, we've got to run. Please, we've got to no. run right now. No, Cardi. No. I have to stand fast for this man. I told you to stay away from here, didn't I, boy? Please and be, Pa. He's done nothing wrong. Who are you going uh, to believe? Okay. Some madman from across oh. the mountains? Oh. Or your own Pa? Oh. Let the bar go. Sniveling little rat. Betrayer! Oh. Oh. The kingdom of heaven belongs to such as he, broken car. I told you to stay off my mountain or I kill you. I should have done you in that first day. Instead, I showed you kindness, and you turned my own kin against me. God made you upright, Kai, but you have sought out many devices. These are my people. The ways of men are before the eyes of the Lord, and he watches all his paths. Repent, and be saved. No, no, please, please, no! I warned you, didn't I? You had it coming. So much for the power of his God. I hate you! I hate that I'm your son! How dare you stand against me? Your own flesh and blood? No. <coughs> This has got nothing to do with you, you hear me? You want me to go look, Pa? No. Let's go. What about the outsider? He ain't dead yet. He will be by morning. You want I should carry Fagin? Leave him. He'll come home with his tail between his legs soon enough. He's bad hurt, Pa. I said leave him! Is he dead, Gabby? <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. I'm so sorry they done this to you. Daddy! <coughs> Papa! Papa! It's take. What, what's in it? Truth. <laughs> Pass it on. Katrina, <laughs> niece, we've got to get Faye and help. Where? I can't bring him home. I will just take him back to the Kai. It's in the cloud. Bring him back to Plutzen.
didn't know what else to take him. Oh my God. Is this the work of Broken Kai? Yes, ma'am. Help me get him inside. Oh, oh God. Kadi brought him here. I don't know what made her do it, given what most people in that cove think of me. She's the only child who's come near this cabin. I'm glad you love company. I, I'll do what I can for them. Always a brave one going up against his pad trying to save that stranger. Is he badly hurt? If you could but see what Brogan done to his own son. Broke the poor child's ribs. You would make a good mother. If I am not allowed to be your wife and bear your children, then I will bear no other not. Well, I must go. That stranger will need a proper burial. Can't you stay a while longer? You don't have to say nothing. It just does my soul good having you close. I am always close. She loves him, Fagan. She loves the Sunita. It ain't her old business. Maybe not. But you should have heard the way he spoke to her. So soft and sweet. <sighs> pa used to talk to my ma that way when I was little. My pa ain't never talked to my ma that way. But I've seen her look at him sometimes, like the sun wouldn't rise without him. I don't know how that she can feel that way. It ain't hard. You can love somebody without them loving you back. Hello. It's my mother. <coughs> Get down. Hurry. Hurry. I'm leaving the door open. I should think something amiss. Now hush up, we have to be quiet. My honor, Kai. You're a long way from home. What would you be wanting in my part of the cove? Believe me, this is the last place I'd want to be. But I'm looking for my boy, Fagan. He's been talking about Dead Man's Mountain. Have you seen him? And if I have, why would I be telling the likes of you? He's my son, not yours. You'd understand if you'd ever had children of your own. You and the rest made sure that had never happened, didn't you? God's doing, not mine. Aye. But what was your doing was turning the cove against me, spreading lies, calling me a spellcaster so your precious brogan would stop pining for me and marry you. Well, you got what you wanted, didn't you? Where is my son, you witch? Where is he? You don't deserve a boy like Fagin, Iona. A mother ought to protect her own son. I'd stand against hell itself to protect Fagin, and he ain't even mine. So you do have him in there, Fagan. Son, come out to your mama, please. You don't have to go, Fagan. Yes, I do. Let go, Caddy. He's mending from the beaten brogan give him. Because he stood up for the man by the river. A man of God. Didn't you know that? Why do you think I'd come here? His pa's been looking for him since dawn, and I can't let him find him here. Do you think I want my boy hurt again? Hello, Ma. Oh, Fagan. 
Oh no. Come, son, come. How could your pa do this to you? It's all right, Mama. Katrina, niece. Do you trust me? Yes, I told you already. Then you have to run. Right now, you and Fagin. He cannot come home. He can stay as long as he likes, Iona. Fagin, we've got to run. Please, we've got to run right now. Why? Fagin! Huh? Huh? Run, Fagin. Go, run! Guy! Guy, please let them go. This is none of your affair. Let's send my cloud. Please, Brogan. He's your son. Don't do this. He's flesh of your flesh! No! No! <laughs> God, help me. Please help us. If you don't show yourself, you are no longer my son. I will never look upon you again. You are dead to me. You hear me, boy? I should say entire go for her. And no one has seen, hide, nor hair of her. It's been a night and a day. God help me. I even went to the narrows.
Fagan? Fagan? Fagan! Sinita, wait! What are you taking, Fagan? You and the boy need to be out to the cold. Follow me. Caused a lot of trouble, Caddy Forbes. Thank you for coming for us. You lie down now. Try to get some more sleep. Senator's cave. This is where he lives. Aye. He grooms himself. What is he? Gone before I woke up. Bledsons. It's freezing. What you doing? Fagan's cold, sir. You're not to touch my things. If anyone were to find out you touch my things, you'd be tainted like me. No one's touched me in 20 years. And that's how it has to stay. Step aside, let me pass. Blankets from Bletson. Put one over him. I've not touched them. Stranger's pouch is in there as well. She thought you might want to have it. What about my father? He won't come looking for you, Yer. But when you are well enough to travel, the two of you must leave. Where will we go? Anywhere but Yer. This cave holds dark sins. Why did God cause the lot to fall to you all those years ago? It was God's will that it fell to me. Maybe it wasn't God's will. What you talking about? Can you read? Aye. What is it? It's the book the man of God gave to us before he died. It tells the story of another senator that God sent long ago. It says that only he can forgive us of our sins. I will never read that book. Why not? Because it would mean I had wasted my life in this cave. And never saved a single soul from damnation.
wrong? I, yeah, you should be thanking me instead of hitting me. I was so scared. I ain't never been in darkness like that. Never. Well, it ain't dark anymore. I won't let him go in my arm. Sorry. Sorry. Right. I found something bigger. Here. Yeah. What are they? I wonder if the Sinita painted them. What are those mounds supposed to be? Are they hills? Neen Hawkins, I think. In this one, there's a man in a hut. And it looks like they're dancing. Shaking hands with somebody. Maybe the chief. Hey. Here's more white men. And woman with them. What's this? Is this fire? Hey. The whole kinds of burning. I think I understand. The, the, these figures on the ground are the men from the Indian village. All killed by the men in the huts. The white men. Oh. Look. This is the land of it? Looks like they fell off the tree bridge. Aye, it does. But they didn't fall. They were pushed. The man in the hut, she's the first one. The rest tumbling after. One of the men must have escaped the killings. He's the one who painted these drones. What do you think happened to him? I don't know. <gasps> you just found him, Cuddy. Must have been wounded and died. How do you know? Because they didn't use clay or soot to paint these. He used his own blood. The Sanita was right. This cave does hold dark sins. I have to know what these surrounds mean. I think I know someone who can tell us. Come on. It ain't safe to leave in the daylight, Fagin. I'm afraid of what your pa will do. It's all right. You don't have to come with me. I can take care of myself. Remember the night by the river, Katrina and Yes. Who threw the stone at Bergen Kai? God has not given you a heart of fear. Now, about these paintings in the Sin Eater's cave. We once know about the Indians who lived here before our people. We once know about the Indians who were murdered. The man of God told us 
that if we knew the truth, then the truth would set us free. Well, perhaps the time has come for the whole truth to be told. You're all right. I'm fine, Pa. Where's Ma? She's at home. When we couldn't find you, we thought... Where were you? I promise to explain everything to you very soon. But there's something we must do first. Okay. I want to know who here rang the bell. I did. What's the meaning of this, Miss Elder? Whose grave has been dug? Neighbors, the time has come to put the past to rest, to bring old secrets and lies out into the open and bury them once and for all in that there grave. I've heard enough of this. For once in your life, broken Kai, pipe down. A generation ago, when we come from Wales to this cove, I had never seen nothing more beautiful. It was truly the god green of spring. Like heaven on earth, it was with cool streams and rich brown soil, more wondrous than any place I had seen back home. We come up the trail with Lock Island Kai leading the way, a dozen families in all. And when we reach the Indian village, the little children all come running to greet us. offering, but with his other hand, the rest was hell on earth.
I'm grieved to say my own Donald was among the men who done so much evil that day. I, as were many of your daddies and granddaddies. My father had no choice. They were savages. They would have scalped us in our sleep. If that were true, Brogan, why did Doc Highland have such a desperate need for a sin eater at the end of his days? It was the way of our people. It always has been. We had no need of a sin eater in this new country. It was a tradition we should have left dead and buried with our forefathers back in Wales. But the Kai was a man with innocent blood on his hands and the fear of hellfire in his heart. And that's how this whole wretched business started. He needed a scapegoat. So do we all. And that fact's not going to change anything anytime soon. No. Rogan. It's time to tell the truth. No more lies. There never was a proper lottery. It was fixed from the beginning. She's mad. She doesn't know what she's saying. I know all about what you done when I found the lots you hid beneath the house. When Fagin was just a wee one, he went to hide after you give him a beating. And I found him under there, filling with some chicken bones. They all had markings on them. All of them the same. Every last one of them marked with Sim Gillivray's mark. Lies! I'll prove it! Cleet, take your ma home where she belongs. She's not in her right mind. No. Look. See. They're all the same. Marked for sin. All these years, and it wasn't God's will. Falsehoods, why would I do such a thing? Because you loved and McLeod, not me. And she loved Sim. And if you couldn't have her, you made sure no man ever would. I've had enough of this. This gathering is over. Everyone go home. Not till I've had my say. You're not wanted here, Sinita. You've no business coming off the mountain unless you've been called. It's still time for someone to die here tonight. Someone who has ruled this cove with deceit and an iron fist. Someone who beat a man of God to death. Someone who kept me from the woman I love all these years. Turn around and look me in the eye, Brogan. Like I said, everyone go home. I said, turn around, Kai! No, you turn around. And go back to your hole, or we'll be choosing another sin eater by sunup. No more killing and no more lies. This has nothing to do with you. Oh, yes, it does. And you know why. No. Sir, the reason you couldn't eat my sins was because you were never meant to. Don't come near me, child. It's what the man of God came to tell us. Please, child. I'm not clean. It's what's in this book. Somebody already has eaten our sins. No. It can't be true. You're not a beast, Sim Gilvary. You're just a man who God loves 
and wants to forgive, whom he wants to set free, who wants to set us all free. Mama, I'm so sorry for what happened to Ellen. I was jealous of her. I know. I said terrible things to her. And to you. I remember. And I know you have every reason to hate me, but I didn't push her off that tree bridge. I swear on my life, I didn't push her. Cuddy. I never thought for one minute that you pushed her into that river. I never ever thought that. You didn't? No. Then why have you been so angry with me? Oh. Not with you, child. It was myself. She would have been me. No, Mama. Why? Oh, I knew that I'd, I'd hurt your favor in her like I did. But she was so little, and so sickly, from we born to a pup. And you, Cuddy, you were so full of life and, and spunk. But I never meant for you to blame yourself. And it was me. I, I sent Ellen to f follow you. I didn't know I'd gone to the Nottles, Mama. But, but it should have been me, Cuddy. Not Ellen. It should have been me. So that I could tell you how sorry I was. It's my fault she fell into the Nottles. And it's my fault she died, Cuddy. Not yours. It was an accident, Mama. <laughs> It was an accident that never would have happened if I'd been a, a proper ma. Sometimes I, I would see the terrible grief in your eyes. But 
I would see you suffering. I'm so sorry, child. I... I didn't know how to ease it for you. I... I began to think I'd lost both my girls in the river that day. You didn't lose me, Mama. All I wanted was for you to open your arms and tell me that you still wanted me to be your daughter. I would have run into them. Oh, you would. Truly, you would. Oh. Oh, I love you, Kavadi. I love you, Kavadi. Love you too, Mama. You're still my little bit of heaven. <sighs> little bit of heaven. Lilibet. They do sound sort of alike, don't they? Oh, oh don't leave me, John. Don't leave me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's raised questions over the years. Whether Lily Bet was an angel or not ain't for me to say. Fact is, I don't rightly know what she was. But I do know she was there that spring when I needed her most. I never saw her again after that day of the new covenant. That's what we came to call it. A new beginning it was. But the truth is, I suppose I didn't need her after that. Because from that moment on, I had the Lord.